guys, Moose Gaming here, and today we're gonna play some Minecraft. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a super smelter. So let's get straight into the video. So, um, I'm just gonna quickly show you guys how it works. Here, you pop in your thing to smelt just for showcasing. Uh, I chose iron ore. So, I press this button. This uh, Minecraft helper will fill in exactly two stacks and two blocks. And it's slowly now filling it in, as you can see in the furnaces going on right here slowly like that then if it comes back to here we will slowly come back down here but what we want to look at now is the fact that it's almost done smelting so everything will go to this smart dropper this is the smart dropper circuit and it's gonna slowly drop out all of the stuff inside and um, in the water stream if we go back here <coughs> the hopper minecart already came back and our items are slowly flowing in as you can see the chest is slowly filling up i don't know why uh, sometimes it goes to the upper one sometimes to the lowest one i mean the lowest one should be logical because hoppers go down first then to the side but sometimes a bit of it ends up here no more stuff dropping out mm -hmm. and no more stuff going in and if we take this and put it in this chest as you can see we have exactly two stacks and two iron so that's actually it for the showcase now i'm gonna slowly explain how to build this mm -hmm. explain the circuitry a bit so here we have the base amount of blocks that we want going into this hopper that goes out of a comparator which goes uh which uh, the, it goes with a certain signal strength into that comparator side which power which then depowers that block which takes out this piston and thanks to that would hop a minecart and go away here's where it comes back this is the chest here but the king of among the might have already seen this uh, this minecart uh, rail these rails here and uh, yeah actually this doesn't connect with this as you can see it stops here well this is for the fueling um so you place a minecart with chest here just like so you fill it in with core blocks or bamboo is the best at least as I think, what I would think of uh, for a uh, <clears throat> for a super smelter, because it's really easy to farm it. So you don't need to spend hours digging in mines and finding coal. So yeah, you just place it and loops and this loops endlessly. So let's say it's already coming back. And it comes back away and it's just going in a loop like this slowly filling in here just for representation purposes i have code blocks so i don't need to replace them every second and yeah so what do you need to have to build this thing so you need um if I remember correctly, 390 hoppers because we have 130 furnaces uh, and there are three hopper lines one under it, one over it, and one on this side. 
so that's a lot of hoppers but uh, I mean I just wanted to keep it compact I would need like droppers going into a water stream mm, and then I need to have redstone on the sides powder droppers I just don't want to mess with that so I made it a nice hopper line under here you need you don't need to have glass of course but some sort of block for the water stream yes you need uh, a bit of water water backwards and signs i tried using pressure plates here but i had bad experiences with pressure plates and water streams so I, now i just use some the smart hopper circuit is really quite nice it just if it there is an item inside the dropper this compactor would get powered which powers this block which powers this block which powers which powers this redstone which powers this block which powers this um, repeater and then this with a certain strength level goes back to here and powers that or at least that's how i think it works yeah i i'm pretty sure that's it so these slabs you might think why are they here uh, that's because of the fact that hoppers aren't a full block so sometimes if you stand near the water stream uh, the, you can pick up the blocks so we don't want that we want them to stay in the water stream uh, also you need a lot of rails so that's um, around 410 rails something like that uh, and every 15 rails here we use a redstone torch on a block so that you also need to have that you need to have double of those because you also need that for the lower circuit of course uh, the lower circuit is a bonus you don't actually need it you can just like um fill in the chest manually yourself but that might be a pain in the butt so i wouldn't do that and for here you need two comparators one detector rail pi sticky piston a double chest would be nice and a button this is the returning uh, circuit just so you know uh, yeah, and a lot of uh, blue eyes because the water streams go here, here. Also, you need one block of soul sand for the elevator. This goes up here. A bit more hoppers for the storage system, and a couple of chests for that too. And more slabs. Uh, oh, I. Did I mention that you also need a bit more torches here just to power the the um, the rails that aren't in a straight line? You also have to do that. I will show you guys how to download Optifine in a video coming very very soon yeah so guys i hope you enjoyed this video subscribe leave a like and don't forget to hit that notification bell to never miss any videos so guys i really hope you enjoyed this video and that this video will also be very helpful for you I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.